What's up, everybody? It's Taco here on the ATQ Tubes with a recap of last week's quack, highlighted by a number of amazing performances on the diamond. We'll start with the Oregon baseball team, who went 4-0 and last week, uh, starting with a 6-3 win over Oregon State on Tuesday. And then they headed down to Berkeley, where they finished off their first Pac-12 road sweep since the program was reinstated, defeating the California Golden Bears three straight Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, this series was highlighted by the offense, scoring 18 runs in three games and led by sophomore Scott Heineman, who belted three home runs in the series, including two in the 10-4 win on Saturday. Despite that 4-0 performance from the baseball team, I think the most outstanding team of the week has to be softball who, for the first time in the program's history, swept the Arizona Wildcats uh, in three games at Howe Field in Eugene. Uh, after a 5-3 win on Friday, freshman left-hander Sheridan Hawkins came out and was absolutely outstanding, uh, throwing a five-inning no-hitter in an 8-0 Ducks win. Uh, this was the first no-hitter of the season for the Oregon softball team and the largest margin of victory over the Arizona Wildcats ever. Uh, until Sunday when uh, Jessica Moore, um, our favorite and my pick for player of the year in the NCAA in softball, uh, came out and threw a five-inning perfect game in a 9 to nothing Ducks win. Uh, this was an absolutely dominating performance over a ranked uh, Arizona team. And it's this is not something that really happens in Pac-12 softball, which is probably the best conference in any sport in the country. Um, I would put the depth of Pac-12 softball up. It's better than SEC football. It's better than ACC basketball. This is the hardest conference to play in in any sport, and Oregon is currently running circles around the Pac-12 conference. They currently sit at 12-2. and two. Um, Last year, they made a surprise run to the College World Series, but this year they have to be considered a legitimate national title contender with the way they're playing. Elsewhere in the Quackersphere, uh, men's and women's golf are preparing for the Pac-12 championships, and they uh, finished quite nicely in their last tournament before those championships. Uh, the women were down in Tempe for the ASU Invitational and put together a 14th place finish. And the men finished 8th at the Western Invitational in Santa Cruz, California. Uh, men's and women's tennis won a combined 0-4 against the LA schools this week. However, uh, lacrosse put it together a nice week going 2-0 with wins over Fresno State and St. Mary's. That's a look around the quack for this week. Uh, stay tuned to AddictedToQuack.com all week for the latest in duck news and analysis. And uh, check back here every Sunday for a look back at what has gone on in the quack world. For AddictedToQuack.com, I'm Takimoto. Go Ducks. We'll catch you next time.